I'm on a construction site. I am with Christian Construction. And I've got Tyler with me right now. Good to see you again. Yeah. Thanks for having us out. Absolutely. What are you doing here right now? Uh, we are reinstalling a roof. We're putting uh -huh. a whole new roof on this house. People look at things like that. First thing, oh, they must have had damage. This is a, a new house, okay. Is yeah. this like storm-related stuff? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, this whole area, you know, got hit with the same hail. So uh -huh. we'll be doing uh, probably half this street and uh, most of the street next to it. So, so yeah, it's, it's something that affected a lot more than just this house. Now, of course, everybody when they hear, oh, I've had hail damage, mm -hmm. they think the roof. Yes, you're taking care of the roof, but in reality, if you're talking about hail damage, you can be talking about a lot more than just a roof. Better than that, uh, what I find out mostly is people look at the cars. There's no dents in the cars. Right. They, they say, we made it. Uh, and, you know, when hail hits your house, it's not prejudiced to anything. It, it's going to hit the gutters, windows, siding, the, the new stained deck, you know, the, the, whole, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, you know, I, that's what I'm here to do is clean up the mess. And that's part of also what your knowledge is because I can stand here and look at a roof forever and unless it's really obvious I'll have no idea. It, right um, well you know as far as the way hail impacts shingles uh, you know it, it it really takes a trained eye to be able to identify the difference between typical wear and, wear and tear mm -hmm. and storm damage uh, also like on your gutters and stuff I mean the way you know hail hits the inside of the gutter right so you don't really see the dent from the outside unless it was just big hail. So it, it just really takes a close look with a trained eye to, to it, you know, that, uh, identify the proper damage. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you because it, this is what you specialize in. Mm -hmm. It's all the ramifications of storm damage when it comes to your home. You know, we're a storm restoration contractor, uh, so we focus primarily on the storm repair process. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, people always ask, what happens if there's no storm? We live in the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a storm. It's going to be there uh, sooner or later. Know, as long as long as we've been doing this, I hadn't run out of day to work yet. Yeah. And, uh, you know, at, at, at this point, I'm just happy to be out here cleaning up the, the damage that the storm's caused. Yeah. You know, I noticed you've got, what, an iPad or something in your hand there? Yeah. Yeah, now, you caught me mid-job. Okay. But I mean, when we're talking about coronavirus and things like that, there have been so many different things that have changed because of that. What did, what's changed in, in your line? First of all, uh, our entire process uh, has the capability to be virtual now. Uh, you know, I'm still old school. I like to meet people face to face. Yeah. Um, so that, that may be one of my downfalls. I, I don't know, but I know we've adopted uh, a much more virtual process. I can actually give you an estimate on your house right now uh, without even looking at your house without having to get up there and measure it out so you can call my office and, and get a you know a hassle-free estimate uh -huh. um, without ever having to meet you know a roof salesman or anything like that have, having to put boots on your roof uh, we actually can just do that you know virtually that's a very easy way to do it than I, I would imagine well it's a lot safer uh, <laughs> yeah. you know it's, it's taken you know everything technology has, has done so much for many industries mm -hmm. and um, you know it's nice to see our industry actually uh, developing some of the capabilities that uh, other industries have. I mean, yeah. you know, roofing and home repair in general don't really get the, the focus when it comes to developing new technology. Right. So, but yeah. even though people think, oh, putting on a roof is putting on a roof, is put it's no big deal. Actually, there are a lot of advancements that have been done as far as taking care of your home. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, shingles in general, uh, actually on this house today, we're putting up uh, uh, Atlas Pinnacle Pristine with Scotch Guard Protector. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, used to shingles. I mean, the heavier they were, the better they were. Right. And that you know, at at this point, uh, you know, we've gone to synthetic asphalt polymers. Uh, you know, just different grades of fiberglass, and we're able to. You know, it's a little more costly. A roof costs more than it used to, right? Sure. Uh, but I mean, we're able to put lifetime warranties on these on these products, and it's a uh, it's it's a great day to be doing what we do. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily cost more if it lasts longer uh, well there's that there's yeah that. that's true yeah, that's yeah. True. I had never thought about that one way. one little one little hint to mm -hmm. give to give our viewers here you have damage mm -hmm. who's the first person to call you call a storm restoration contractor absolutely um, and you know you you want somebody that's you know in your corner uh, to be able to give you an honest opinion of what's going on in your property. Uh, you know, one of the main mistakes I, I hear about people making is they'll call their insurance company to have them come inspect it. Right. Well, to do that, you have to file a claim. 
Uh -huh. And you know, filing a claim uh, can impact you if you don't actually have damage. You know, so if you just suspect you might have damage, the best thing to do is call a storm restoration contractor to get that inspection done by somebody who specializes in storms. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. You heard it. Christian Construction. That's it. Give them a call. Mm -hmm.